All right, this is uh, an unboxing of uh, the Robox Dual 3D printer uh, that I just got. Let's do a quick, careful opening. And the uh, first thing they do is uh, to take the accessory box out. This is the accessory box. It comes with uh, all the accessories, the rolls and the initial two rolls of filaments. So you get a PLA roll and then at the same time another one is the white poly support uh, which is supposed to be a uh, support material that's easy to remove uh, from the print uh, for the dual head robot and uh, of course uh, you have uh, the adapters for the second spool um, I will show uh, in the assembly and USB cable as well as the power cable okay. um, along with the Robox uh, comes also the installation uh, CD uh, not CD sorry the uh, installation software in a nice little uh, credit card size can't, uh, but the recommendation is that we are not going to use this, uh, but we will get the latest uh, software from um, Robox website itself, CL uh, website. Apart from the filaments and also the real adapters, uh, power cords, Robox also um, included some accessories uh, in this box. Uh, this actually includes uh, some uh, wipes. Uh, for cleaning the bit. So this is uh, basically uh, alcohol uh, to uh, clean uh, the uh, printer bit. Apart from that, also there is uh, a bottle of um, lubricants for the excess. And uh, this uh, is uh, to be used uh, sparingly um, and uh, will be like after uh, quite a number of prints. And then uh, other accessories includes a tweezer. And interestingly, there's uh, also a box of cleanup tools, which are basically um, sharp little different sizes of uh, blades. Let me see. Yeah, so you have uh, something like chisels and uh, kind of blade um, to clean up like the corners of the prints and uh, to remove uh, probably support materials or other imperfections. So they have uh, four size of blades uh, that's included. Uh, put this box away for a while. And here's the box itself with the unit. Okay. Remove the rest. So in order to take it out, we just take the back, remove the two sides, and just lift the other set up quick start guide here and here's the roll box itself and there you 
have it, the Robux Duel. And let's do the uh, initial um, setup. First thing to do is uh, to take off uh, the retaining tapes that is uh, holding down the door. And I'm just going to uh, take it off here just in case I'd like to pack it up later. And uh, also the tape on the side of the um, spool for the filaments. Take this off as well. Okay, so with that removed, I basically can open up the Robux. Okay. At the same time, the next step will be to remove. Uh, the uh, retaining, the head retaining um, bracket here. Um, I was told that uh, this uh, bracket is uh, printed um, in factory um, using this uh, Robux as uh, the testing um, um, for the testing uh, print. So how you remove it is basically hold here with a thumb um, on this little notch here. Pull it out. And then uh, with a little bit of force, and you'll be able to remove. I'll keep this aside um, for a little transportation of uh, the Robux. I can reuse this. Next is setting up the spool uh, to be able to uh, uh, put in uh, the filaments in there. So the first thing uh, to do is uh, to push this all the way out and uh, there is a small little notch here it goes all the way in and if you look at, at this side right now the uh, core uh, spool uh, is uh, now protruding out Next step is uh, to take the supply spool. This is uh, the connector, and uh, it comes uh, with uh, a core. This is uh, actually the uh, spool holder for the second row, and I will insert uh, this adapter into uh, the uh, original core to lock this so that it doesn't go back again yeah okay so put it in by uh, aligning it with the notch so basically with uh, the word robox facing you and then you put it in it's in right now and I'll just need to rotate it towards me and now it's locked and it will not um, go back any further Okay, before we start using the printer or power it up and connecting the USB cable, first thing that we need to do is uh, to set up the Automaker software. You can get this uh, software from uh, the uh, Robux uh, website. And the way to get it is uh, go to support under downloads. And listed here is the list of uh, all the versions of Automaker. Um, currently it's at version 3.0, uh, the latest. And I'll be downloading uh, the 64-bit uh, for the Windows 10 uh, on my PC. It is a 91.4 meg download. Um, I've already done the download, so I'm going to um, just uh, run it. And I'm going to run the installation. for a while for it to launch.
Yep. And it will do its installation. So I'm going to store it in my D drive. And now I'm just add the shortcut. And that's it. So it's installing right now. It's installing the drivers next. Install it. And now it's ready to use. Finish. It's now done. And I will launch Photomaker, which is already on my desktop. I'll allow access. And this is uh, where the release notes are. You can uh, take a read at uh, what's new. And okay, so for now, um, there's uh, no Robux. We are going to power up the Robux and connect the USB cable next. Okay, first step is to turn on the uh, Robux. There's a switch at the back where the power cable is here and the switch is right above or right below actually here and I'll turn it on okay it's turning on right now and it is ready and my next step is to connect the USB cable to the printer and to the PC. The port is right above the power cable. Okay. And immediately it is uh, now being recognized uh, by the automaker software. Uh, next, I'm going to install the filaments uh, into uh, the uh, printer.